Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Blender tutorial. So in this video, we'll be creating this scene from scratch. So we'll be covering everything from modeling, lighting, uh, texturing, and rendering too. Uh, so there is a lot to cover so let's uh, dive into the video and before that I would like to thank all of my patreon supporter and thank you so much guys and thank you so much for your support that means a lot to me and and one more thing if you are my patreon supporter then you can get uh, this blend file including uh, all the assets that I used in this video so with that note let's uh, dive into the video so go to file let's create a new file so don't shape it and let's delete everything including the default cube and lights cameras and everything and let's go on the side panel and let's import the image as a reference image so for that let's press ctrl a let's import and let's import a reference this reference image so select this one and click on load go over here and let's click on opacity and let's drop down the opacity just a little bit and let's move it a little up let me right over here and there are various ways to model a white bottle today we'll be creating with a circle now let's create a circle first so shift a and let's go to the mesh and let's add a circle and here for the circle vertices there are like 32 vertices let's keep it like that and see we have a circle now let's go to the side view again and press tab and let's go to the edit mode and let's go to the wireframe setting and let's select all the vertices and press s to scale let's scale it down and let's uh, try to follow this reference roughly and press e to extrude let's keep it let's move it a little up press s to scale again e s now e maybe right over here and again e let's extrude it upward press s yeah i'm just following uh, this reference guide so press e to extrude and again move it on g axis press s to scale again e so it's just a repetitive process s tab and let's delete this reference because we don't need this anymore and uh, let's go over here let's go to the setting view so now this is what we have now let's close the bottom part so press on tab and go to the edge selection mode and alt and click to make a loop selection e s let's scale it a little smaller let's move it inward and press F so this is what we have now let's right click and let's click on city smooth and let's go over here and toggle down the normal and let's turn that auto smooth on. so I feel like uh, this is not that smooth enough now let's add a sub surface modifier so go over here and let's add a subdivision surface and Let's change the level and render to 2.2 two. and let's add uh, some supporting edge loop to create a sharp edge over here so go to edit more press tab control R to make to add a edge loop and again let's add on the bottom control R let's add one right over here control R and again control R 
control R let's add one right over here and same thing on the bottom and uh, so let's uh, model a cap so for that let's go to the edit mode again and control and click to make a loop selection and press control and plus to increase the selection after that let's press shift D to make a duplicate and right click let's separate it by selection now we have two different objects let's rename that one so the first one is a main bottle and the second one is the cap let's turn off the visibility for the bottle and let's start modeling the cap so press tab and let's go to the edit mode and let's make a selection and press E to extrude and let's scale it E S E S and press F to fill now let's turn on the visibility for the bottom and the bottle and the cap they are intersecting over here so let's add a solidify modifier so go over here let's add a solidify modifier so this gonna fix it so this will fix the problem and it also add a thickness so okay that looks good to me now let's turn off the cap and again I want some thickness on that bottle too so select the bottle and let's apply a solidify modifier again and let's increase the thickness maybe right around here let's go to the wireframe mode and let's see how it looks so yep and let's apply this modifier and again we need to add some supporting edge loop over here so go to the edit mode and control R let's add a edge loop right over here control R let's add one right over here and control R let's add one right over here now we have a bottle we have a cap now let's uh, model the wine part so for that again go to the edit mode press tab and let's go to the face selection mode select the bottom face control plus let's turn that wireframe view on and maybe control minus minus maybe I want the wine part maybe right to right over here now again shift D to make a duplicate and press P and let's separate it by selection so now we have another duplicate object now let's rename it as a wine and let's go to the edit mode press tab and let's go to the edit mode let's make a selection press E S again E S E and let's fill the part now right click click on series smooth and 
uh, go over here and let's turn that auto smooth on so that's good so when you go to the setting mode the bottle and the wine faces are intersecting each other so let's make that wine a little smaller so press s press shift s let's make it a slightly smaller yep maybe somewhere around here so this is what we have the margin part is almost done now let's add a base on the bottom so for that let's add a cube shift a let's add a cube yeah let's scale it a little smaller let's move it right over here and control a let's apply all transformation and press tab and let's go to the edge selection mode and select one edge and control b let's add a bevel and let's increase the segments and right click city smooth and let's turn that auto smooth on so this is what we have now let's add a camera so shift a and let's add a camera let's move it right over here and from here let's change the all the rotation to zero and let's rotate it like 180 and let's split the screen into two two part and let's press zero over here to go for the camera view and let's move the camera a little back and from here let's change the resolution to 1080 over 1080 now let's move it a little up let's move it maybe right over here let's keep it right over here and let's add a level in this bottle so now let's add a label on this bottle so i have designed a label uh, using photoshop let's import that one so for that press shift a and let's add an image and let's import this image as a plane so this one let's click and let's click on import let's turn that setting option on uh, let's press tab let's scale let's make it a little bigger uh, maybe something like that now let's add a edge loop so control r and let's add a edge loop maybe 40 and i want to wrap uh, this level around this bottle so for that let's create a curve so shift a and let's add a circle so here we have a press tab and let's scale this circle maybe right around the size of our bottle and now let's select the label and let's add a curve modifier and from here let's select the curve object to the Bezier curve that we just created so this is what we have now let's from here let's change it to maybe G axis yep, it's right over here let's select this curve and the label and let's move it a little up so that we can see what's going on now we have to tweak around some of the adjustments so uh, select this one and maybe let's do some rotation all right and now let's add a rotation maybe 
zero so this is what we have and so yep this is what we have now let's move this circle and the curve a little up maybe right around here and press tab let's make this a little smaller smaller maybe right around this side looks good to me I think and <laughs> now let's apply uh, this curve modifier and uh, let's delete that curve we don't need it anymore now let's do some texturing part or like shader part let's uh, split this screen again and now let's select the main bottle and let's change it to shader editor and let's add a new material and for this one let's uh, increase the transmission all the way to the up and let's increase let's drop down the roughness maybe right over here and we're gonna tweak uh, the glass material later so just keep it uh, that for now and now let's select the cap part and let's add a new material and let's change the base color to a kind of darker color and let's keep it like that and let's turn that off and let's work on that wine part so select the wine model and let's add a new material and for the wine I'll just go for a little uh, more reddish tone and let's increase our transmission transmission all the way to the up and let's uh, drop down the roughness and maybe let's keep it like that and I once I go to the uh, render setting mode so everything looks something like this now let's go over here and let's change from render engine from EV to cycle so this is what we have and now let's uh, uh, add a background image so shift A again and let's import the image as a plane this image as a background so here we have press tab and let's scale it and let's make it a big enough so that it cover the whole parts let's move it a little back and let's scale it and let's s yep something like that and again let's uh, add this image and emission setter too so this is what we have and now let's tweak on that glass material so select the glass and I want to give a little kind of tint to the base color so let's go for a kind of uh, reddish tint and let's make it a little darker maybe right around here and let's add a material to the base so select the base material and let's add a new material and let's 
add an image texture and let's plug that color into the base color and let's click on open and let's add a area light and let's move it right over here and press S to make it a bigger rotate it okay, something like that and let's move it a little back press S and let's change the light power to maybe like 300 or maybe let's move it like 600 yep somewhere around here and let's add another light so shift A and let's rotate it around this side of minus 90 and let's move it right over here and let's scale it up and let's uh, change the color to maybe like 900 let's see how it looks Yep, I think this is looking pretty good to me. Let's move it around here. Let's All right, now let's go to the render setting. Let's turn that adaptive sampling on and let's go to the denoising and let's turn that viewport denoising on too. And let's uh, do one more thing. Let's go over here and let's change the render region and let's crop to the render region and press N to hide everything let's turn that off everything now let's go to the camera and let's add a depth of field so add a depth of field and for the focus object let's select the bottom and for the F stop let's drop that F stop down just to uh, make that background a little blurry Yep, maybe somewhere around here and uh, I think I need one more light in the front Shift D let's duplicate the light and let's make a rotation and Let's scale it Let's move it maybe right over here. Yep, let's see how it looks without and with light. Yep. I think it is much better, so maybe let's move it a little back and let's drop down the intensity maybe around 300 let's uh, move that camera a little forward maybe right over here so yep that's the final and uh, uh, let's do a test render so let's go over here let's do a test render 
so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video